All right, here we go. It is time for the wear test, the first wear test, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing it on day three and four. I don't think it's necessary. I think I'll be able to tell with just day three. You know, I don't do it on the first or second day, and then on the third day after washing, I start doing a dry shampoo. This is day three. That's when my hair's been up like this. So, we'll see. I might not do it for This may just be it once I figure it out. Clearly, my hair needs it. I just filmed this makeup look. I did the... I did the backwards makeup, basically doing all of like contour, bronzer, concealer underneath the foundation. So if that video is up, I'll link it. Look at this loveliness. Um, if that video is up, I'll link it. And if not, I'll just keep a watch out for it. I didn't even change my shirt. I talk about it in another video, the struggle of not having enough shirts. All right, so as you can see, my hair doesn't look too bad grease-wise, I guess, even though I am on day three, which I'm kind of surprised about. All right, so we definitely have a hump in our head. <laughs> I say we and our, like y'all's is like that too. I have a hump in my head a little bit from having it up pretty much all day. Um, it's not too greasy, but there's enough there I can tell I need it. Um, so I wanna go ahead and try this out. It smells amazing. Also, I figured out my exact way I'm going to do a grading scale. And what I've decided is it's gonna have some kind of point system. I'll go over it with you. I'm gonna talk about my exact grade for the Moroccan oil one too in this video since I figured it out. And then we'll grade scale this one as well. The smell is amazing, as with the Moroccan oil one. Oh. That is like hardly any white cast at all. That's good. And I sprayed a good amount of it too. Usually, you know, if you can get just like one or two sprays in there. There it is. There's that white cast. Oh well. I expect the white cast and I don't care. It's part of my grading scale just because if something didn't have a white cast, that would be mind blowing. Um, but I did put that in there as well. So while I am partially looking like Corella, let's look at my grading scale for the Moroccan oil one. So with each dry shampoo, I'm going to have a max score of 25. And there will be each category is going to be a point system of one to five. One being the worst, five being the best. You know how that works. So the categories are smell, white cast, texture, oil reduction, price. Okay, so my Moroccan oil one got an overall score of 19, which I feel like is a pretty good score considering some dry shampoos are just <laughs> no good. Like they'd be like five or six. So I feel like a 19 score out of 25 is good. Plus you can't give anything like a perfect score, right? Um, I don't know, we'll see, this one may be. So I'm gonna let this one keep setting. It's got a good texture from what I can tell. Slightly gritty, but not overwhelming and not bad feeling. It doesn't feel like bad, I don't know. All right, so for the smell, it had a four. The only thing, I love Moroccan oil smell, and it's not the smell that was not great. It's the fact that I wish it would have lasted more throughout the day. So I feel like I just, like I said, I couldn't smell it very well after I'd sprayed it and it sat in my hair. So if it had stayed longer, that smell, I would have given it a five. The white cast was a four. Um, it didn't have much of a white cast. It's about like this. It's not like I put baby powder straight in my hair or that kind of thing. And it came out easily. So it's not just that the white cast doesn't show because like I said, I expect most of them to show a white cast. It's if I can get it and brush it out easily without it still kind of having that gray white tinge to my hair. So that one pretty much came out pretty easily. So that's why we were giving that a four. The texture was a five because it never felt gritty. It always, it even made my hair actually feel softer than it normally is. So overall, the texture was great and I loved it. I wouldn't have even known that I had dry shampoo in my hair. So that's why that got such a high score. The oil reduction was a four. It wasn't perfect. Um, I still could, it wasn't bad. I didn't look oily, but I feel like I didn't have as much of a fresh washed shampoo look. 
when I used it. But it still kept most of the oils out. Um, I still was able to make it to day four and use it on days three and four and feel fine. Then the price though, the price I gave it a two because the full size was what, 25, 26? And to me for a dry shampoo with as much as I use dry shampoo, that's a hefty price. Um, when you could get Batiste for like a third of that or less for a giant can. So that's why the, and that's the only reason why it's a 19 and not a higher score because the price is just kind of crazy to me. Now I can say already with this one, the smell is a five. The smell will be a five if it stays longer than Moroccan oil one. The smell is great and it'll be a five if it lasts throughout the day. The price though is going to be exactly what the Moroccan oil one was because it is also the same price per volume. So this little one ounce thing was $10. A full size of it was also like $25 or $26. So that price will also be a two. The white cast, I will let you know once I style it out after it sat for a few minutes, um, if I can get it all out. And then the oil reduction, I'll have to come back and let you know how that works after day four. So let me go style my hair and I will be right back. Okay, so the white cast will get a high score because it did like style out easily. And like I said, what I normally do after I let it sit is I rub it through with my fingers, get it all worked through. Then I just run the hair dryer through the top part, round brush my back part, and that's it. And that's all I did. It literally took me like two minutes at the most. Um, and it looks like I have a fresh wash. Um, I have a feeling this smell will last longer than the Moroccan oil one just because it's really intense right now and it's not necessarily a bad thing but I have a feeling that even once it fades it's not going to fade nearly as much as the Moroccan oil like I literally could not smell the Moroccan oil just a couple hours after I'd sprayed it in I mean maybe if I could smell the top of my hair um but this one I'm just sitting here and I can smell it um so that's, that's a good thing. Um, so I have a feeling it's gonna, the smell will last longer. So we'll see. Um, texture, it doesn't give that really silky soft feeling that the Moroccan oil one did, but it is still soft. It's not that gritty feel either, if that makes sense. So let's see, where can we grade this one right now? The smell, I'm gonna go ahead and say is a five. If I change it, I mean, I'll mention it when I do the wrap up. The white cast will be a, look, I'm going to say five because it had a pretty significant white cast, but I literally cannot tell that I have sprayed anything in my hair. So we're going to give this one a five. Y'all, this one may score really well. Again, the only thing bad that's going to happen is because of the price and just because I just, I'm a budgeting person. I don't like spending tons of money on something unless it's just blowing my mind, which this one's kind of working on getting that way. Oil reduction will have to come later when I finally wrap up and then price. So price is going to be a two again. Oh wait, I didn't give a texture number. So let's say we'll do texture as a four because it's giving it volume and it's not gritty or anything, but it's not that silky softness either. So we'll go four with texture. We'll wait on the oil reduction and a two for price. So right now this is I think going to be winning so we'll see um, how I wrap it up and what I feel like at the end of the day. Which I may come back tonight and let you know how I feel about it after wearing it for the rest of the day. You can't be on my desk baby girl. But you're so pretty. Look how pretty. So, I stopped myself. I was literally, it is 8.30 at night, and I was about to go wash my face. I was like, wait, I gotta do my hair thing. Um, so, here we are. <laughs> if my makeup is looking slightly expired, that's because it is. So, here we are with my hair. It kind, I have not brushed it. I know that sounds weird. With my hair being short like this, I hardly brush it at all anyway. So, I haven't brushed it, but like I said, the Stay 3 with the dry shampoo still looks good, I feel. I feel like I lost some of that 
initial volume I had after I initially styled it with the dry shampoo and then, you know, hair dryer, all that good stuff. So anyways, I feel like it still looks good. The oils are still pretty much gone. That smell. You know how I said I had a feeling it would outlast smell wise, and it does. Uh, we went to Costco tonight, we ran some errands, we edited a video, and the whole time I can still smell it. Like if I move my hair and kind of make the air shift around me, I can smell it still. That's what I wanted out of that Moroccan oil dry shampoo, and I didn't get that necessarily. I really do like it though. Um, texture wise, it does feel kind of different than the Moroccan. Oh, I just see, I did that and I can smell it even still. So I think the smell is going to outweigh. So let's add all this up really quick like before I run out of battery. I have both cats on either side of me staring at me, making me nervous. <laughs> so we did smell for five and I'm gonna keep it at a five because I can still smell it. That's fantastic. White cast, I did a five because I could pretty much get everything out. Texture, I did a four. It's not perfect, but I'm still gonna leave it at a four because it's not bad. Oil reduction, that's what we need to do. I'm gonna say four. It's not perfect, so I'm not expecting it to be completely volumized, you know, just with the dry shampoo and nothing else, but I feel like it's it could have been better, um, but I'm not completely disappointed in it at all. So, our totals for this Amica, Amica, why do I keep having trouble saying it? Dry shampoo, we got five, five, four, four, and two. So that's 20, right? Math. Why am I questioning myself? Yes, that's 20. So this one beats the Moroccan oil by one point. And honestly, if it did come down to it, and I bought one of the full sizes because of my the reasons that I'm saying, I would buy this one over the Moroccan oil one. So there's that. Good month too. <laughs> I'm off to a good start. So let's see if I get any doozies. I've already decided next month's, which will be May's dry shampoo that I'm going to try out. Um, it's also another kind of pricey one, but it's kind of totally different than the first two. So if you still have suggestions, let me know. I'll still want to try them. I mean, like I said, I always do plenty of dry shampoos. I can never have enough. <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, I like the grading scale to give it a concrete number to why I like it and why I don't like it and that kind of thing. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'll put the Moroccan oil one in a card or down below. I'll create a playlist as I continue doing these so you can go back and watch all of these and see what I think about them. Anyways, I hope you guys had a good night. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hello, left brow. Meet your second cousin, right brow. Because y'all clearly didn't know you're related. With my hair being short like this, <coughs> ooh.